Diamond Divas. Welcome to another Wanda's Work Basket for all things creative and crafty with a little bit of inspiration sprinkled in. Right now I'm still concentrating on my diamond paintings. Uh, and this one I got in a box. Look at, well you can't see it all, but look at this box. It's huge. It's huge. It's all full of bubble wrap. So I'm going to have to like <laughs> cut my way into this. While I'm doing that, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. Something you liked, something you didn't like. Something that you are really excited about that you've opened <laughs> lately. Hey, you know, with this nastiness going around, you need something fun and pretty. To keep you sane sometimes, to keep the anxiety low. Diamond painting keeps my anxiety low. I concentrate on the little tiny, getting the right colors in the right squares, and when that happens, um, oh, I know why this is, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> that way, when you're concentrating on the little drills, themselves and getting them in the right place you're not thinking about what you're anxious about you're not thinking about the problems in the world and uh, oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> I have something for you to try here Hear that? something that you can try oh my goodness these are the sticky mats very sticky mats that you're supposed to, um, if you want your little tray to stay where you put it, um, it sticks and your tray doesn't move off of it. You can't bump it off easily. So I did not know. Why, why am I getting this many? Three, four, five. This one looks ruined. It's six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my. Okay, well, I'm going to have to give some of these out <laughs> with, with the prizes when we get to that point. This is an LED diamond painting. Again, I'm telling you, I want to see things that uh, are different. <laughs> Think that's big enough, the instructions? Let's see what this looks like. Mmm, this is another one I can't wait to get to. It's on its own frame. And that's good. Because, otherwise, I wouldn't know how to frame it. It's got like a particle board backing. I'm trying to unzip this. <laughs> oh yes, this is a square tray. Um, the square ones, I know, duh. Uh, the square ones, you can keep on one side, this is 2.8 millimeters, and I think the squares line up in this better. And on the other side is a 3.0, oh, 2.5 millimeter. I think this one is the, the squares, 2.5, and the 2.8 is the, the round ones. That's why you, it's hard to do square and round in the same painting. But it's possible, because I did it, I'll show you. And a little um, Twinkie te Tweezers. This look at the purple skies. Oh, I love purple. I love purple. Oh, the red purples in here. The other jewel tones. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so beautiful. So, so beautiful. What did I do with the paper? What did I do with my paper? Some inventory paper. Did it fall the floor? That's. Alright, maybe I don't have it. Um. <laughs> It's 29 colors. Ooh, okay, good. It comes with its own um, hanging things that you tack into the particle board. It comes with a battery case, as you might guess. Looks like there's three AAAs in there. 
we'll find out. I hope they have more instructions on this. Ugh. Don't tell me I'm going to lose this. I am not that great at There we go. Mechanical things bother me. All right. This is the painting. It's huge. <laughs> but it's LED, which means there's going to be lights lit up in the church, on the tree, on the um, large light here. You know why I love churches. I love the people in them. I grew up in church, and I don't know what my holidays and my life would be like without church, without God in it. Um, disclaimer, I am a pastor. And sometimes I talk about faith as part of my inspiration, because that's where I get my inspiration. So, I'm not trying to push one agenda over any others. All faiths welcome here. But uh, let me know. Let me know if you believe, if you are a Christian, if you are um, a Buddhist, or if you are um, any, you know, any faith, or none at all. If you're just spiritual, and none at all. I do. We do have another channel uh, that, that's called Drawing Nearer drawing nearer. I hope you can understand that through my Philadelphia accent. Um, that is the spiritual side of things. That is becoming a quiet place for you to rest and do some prayer practices with. But that's not this one. <laughs> I can't wait to do this because I can't wait to see the LEDs light up. I will bring you with me as I do this, folks. Oh my gosh. The church, the drills, special kit, the hanging goodies for it, <laughs> and lots of these mats. I'll let you know how that turns out. I think I'm going to put this back in its box. I don't know if the drills will fit in there too, but I don't want any goodies to get lost. So I hope that you are in inspired that you, this is, what is this sticking on? Is there a handle? There's a handle on the top of the thing. It's giving me trouble. I hope that you are inspired to do something amazing for your holidays, to have a faith community that you are a part of that lifts you up and encourages you as much as mine always has. They are like another family to me. My family is good to me. <laughs> Um, is a very is a very wonderful family, and I am so blessed by them. Not all families are as good as that, but maybe you find family in other places. Finding family in um, in your faith community is always um, it's always a safe bet. <laughs> okay. Share with me down below in the comments, like and subscribe, and blessings. Blessings on your day, on your week, on your year. Hi, Diamond Divas. Hey, I'm just about to start this project. Um, I had a problem with it. Um, let's see, I'm trying not for it to reflect that ball of light there. Um, okay. Anyway, I had a problem with this. This, if you remember, is the LED uh, 5D diamond painting. The Eiffel Tower is here, but I, what I got is the church in the snow. Um, and I, it doesn't fit on the box like that. <coughs> it's a 40 by 50 centimeter. It's a box that has that you can put batteries in and it'll light up. It'll light up through the, the windows and that. So what I found is it didn't come with the kit <laughs> with the, um, the symbols, the schematic of the symbols. I figured out why. I went through the past hour and a half. I've been matching the color of the drills as best I can to the colors that are printed here and uh, uh, printed in the copy of um, of the picture, which is like the overall pattern for me. And I wanted to substitute in and out some sparklers. Okay, so, <sighs> took me an hour and a half, remember, 
And I already thought, okay, I'm going to start with the sparklers. I know which ones I'm going to um, switch out. So I wanted a bright yellow where, like, the star in the top of the tree and some in the light here and some in the windows and some along the path where the light would shine um, on the path. That I th and in the tree, the yellow bubbles in the tree. Perfect. Okay, that's good. That's the yellow. Then I wanted the Christmas red, the 666 red. Uh, I put them around the lamp. I put them in the top of the wreath as the bow. I put them in the stained glass windows. Um, let's see. And I put them in the Christmas tree, in the snowy tree. So I did that. And then I thought, okay. I also wanted to substitute in some bright white 5200 sparklers. Okay. So I thought, where would they go? Where do I think they would go? Well, they would land as snow on the top of the tree, boughs on the top of maybe on the top of the church, uh, sliding down the church roof. Maybe I can show you this way better. <clears throat> I thought maybe sliding down the church roof. You know how snow likes to slide down a roof? So there's a patch of A's here, and there's A's along the side, and here there's some A's down by the door, and some at the tops, and around each of the, the um, pieces of the church. There are some A's that have landed on the tree, as if there's snow landing on the boughs. So, well, it's either A, or U, or O, or two. So, and that's what made it look like there. So what I wanted to do was I got the very, very lightest, um, the very, very lightest drill. And oh my gosh, I had heart, I had blue purples and I had blue blues and purple purples and like the red purples rather than the blue purples. And then I couldn't decide. I'm like, oh man. All right. So <clears throat> I got, I sorted all the colors into a color family. Reds, pinks, purples, blues, yellows and the shades in between okay so it came with 29 colors all together and i thought all right i pested people in the group and said do you ha anybody happen to have this what and the hardest what okay do you, but nobody did can you message the seller well i tried that did you look on the back of the box or a back of the actual picture yes i did that no such luck all right, so I thought, okay, I'm either going to have to, like, dig in and figure it out for myself, and I can figure out some of them. Which one's the darkest purple, the darkest green, the darkest blue? Aha, you would think that way, but that's not the way it worked. So, <clears throat> the darkest green here, I thought, okay, it's in the pine tree, so it's going to be green. There weren't any greens in here other than a teal. And that was obviously in the tree as the letter R. All right, I got one letter. The um, lightest one I figured was the A. So A, I switched out for the 5200s. I'm going to switch out for the 5200s. But I had to decide what color they meant it to come with. The lightest, lightest, lightest ones I had was the, of gray-blue. Like a really gray-blue. This is really horrible to see up close because of um, the lighting in here. And I, I'm trying to do my best for the lighting, but I hope you can see it better than I can see it here. Um, the pinkiest pink, there's some really super pink, pink ones, like baby pink in here. So I thought, okay, that's where that one goes. There aren't any other pink pinks. So I went to the dark red. I didn't switch them all out for this, the 666 number. Christmas red. There's a really dark red, and that is um, the letter C. <clears throat> now, where is the letter C here? Let's see. Yeah, this is the C. I don't know. It wasn't the absolute darkest red, but um, the absolute darkest red was letter N in here. So, okay, I know it's confusing. So, the, what would be C, dark red here, I half of them, the ones toward the top of the tree, and the ones in the stained glass window, I did the sparklers. 
but the path down here and at the bottom of the tree, I'm going to leave them as the dark red as is. Um, it just seemed to have more weight down at the bottom and it didn't need to sparkle all the way on the ground. So <clears throat> then I took, okay, the yellows, this one and, and oops, there were three yellows. Where's the other yellow? Hello, hello. Okay, it is right here. <clears throat> okay, there were three yellows, and I decided that the sparklers I wanted to use were very close to the G, and the H was supposed to be um, F, F, G, H. Yeah, F, G, H. The, the F looked like a little darker, a little like orangier than the G. So the G I used in place of most of the G. The, uh, the uh, 743. Because obviously they don't come with DMC numbers on it. Not that that would have helped me with the coloration anyway. <clears throat> so anyway, all right. So I put the yellow sparklers in there. And H is the lightest of the yellow, so that had to be this one. And then there was a dark that the F that was more orangey, I put that in. Okay, so I have some of them down. Now there were some strange, like the um, salmon color, a light and a dark salmon. And there were two sort of pinkier ones, that, but they were like a dusty rose. Okay, so they were oddball colors. But around this, in the middle here, it looked like a, a dark salmon, the letter B. So I used that as the dark salmon. <clears throat> All right. The little bit lighter salmon that shows up around it, there's a, a seven in a darker, like the rose, darker rose. That one looked like it went, I used the background, you know, I look by the background, not by the what the number is. And it's so tedious because they're so tiny. Anyway, all right, so I was left with those. I saw at the top of the tree, in the schematic here, as you see, the tops of the trees are more of the pinky roses. The, um, the darker parts of the trees are more of the darker purples. And then the, the uh, church is mo mostly... Uh, shades of blue, that kind of thing. So that's how I that's how I did it. All right. So the trees that were more of the pinkier, I took these the shades, and I thought, okay, they're light, medium, dark. The lightest would be number one. Yep, there's number one. Number seven is the next one. Did that work with down there? I, yep, that's the next one. The other one is a T. The next one down is a T. And I needed a real dark one as a W. So, let me find the W. The W. Well, it's, trust me, it's in here. <laughs> it's in here. Anyway, that's what I did with all the colors. I tried to rearrange them. And I put them on... I did it this way, and you can see I did made some changes to it. 1 to 29 here, and then as I, I, I started with the ones I, I swapped out with the sparklers, and I put that there, and matched that to the color, okay? Then I went from there. As I went down the symbols, I put the symbol on one side and the number, the bag number on the other one. This one I started with the bag numbers and I put the symbol in. So I had a double reference here just to make sure I didn't miss any. And I had the wild card as the 5200 because there wasn't any bright white in here, just that very light gray. So anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah. So I noticed a pattern forming. You know how some kits start with one is one, two is two, three is three, all the way down to zero, 10 is zero? That's what I did. And I only started, I only filled it, them in and checked it against the color scheme, uh, what it was next to, did it look right in those places, and yes, it worked. Uh, 10 I decided was the zero, and that worked out fine. All right, so that meant 11 
Now, 5200 was either the lighter gray or the next shade down gray, next shade darker gray. Couldn't decide. So the A and U, I didn't know which one were interchangeable for the 5200. So I had them in both places. A, U, switch back. All right. But then 12 was a, turned out to be the B. It's in the middle here. And then I went down 13C, 14E, and then I found the K and the N and the R and all those weird colors. I filled them in. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's going in mostly alphabetical order. The only one I disagreed, the shade I disagreed with, was switching the F and the G. And those are those yellows I showed you. That was really close in shade. One's F and one's G. And the F, I swore, was darker than the G. So that's how I put them on here. But it it's flipped. The number's flipped. So um, 15 is G, 16 is F. So that alphabet, that the alphabet is out of order only in that one spot. So I have 1 to 9, 0, A, B, C, E, because the D would look too much like a 0, and then G, F, because those are the two that got switched, H, J, K, L, N, because they didn't want to switch that with the W, right? P, R, S, T, U, W, X, Y. You know, if I would have just did it like this, and something in the back of my head said, you know what, maybe you want to do that that way. I thought, nah, it can't be that easy. <laughs> it was. So, <laughs> fortunately, um... That's what I'm doing. And I noticed that one thing, I told you it didn't have any greens, but yet I have a tree here. This deepest, darkest green is actually the 310 black, is actually the dark black, because that goes in underneath the, it's the pole, the light pole. It's the uh, part of the middle of the tree that goes up the tree, the branches. You know how they look black in the dark? But I didn't want to use that same green on the tree. I wanted green in there. So I went to the DMC colors and a very dark Christmas green and a Christmas green. I picked those two greens out because those are the ones, you know, it looked more like a spruce green. The um, $6.99 and $700. Yeah, 700 and 699. 699 being the darker one. I'm going to use that a lot, but just in case I need more than I have in this little pack, um, I'm going to go with the lighter ones just in the tree. Lighter green, lighter Christmas green toward the top, darker Christmas green toward the bottom, because that's how you would shade a picture if you were painting it. Uh, and I'll leave the I'll leave the uh, eight as black right in the, the tree branches up here where it needs to be and the post. Okay, so I think that balances out pretty well. I will keep doing this. Um, I will work ahead. Um, right now I'm going to listen to a book on tape and fill it in and, and at least, oh, the picture, where's the picture? The picture, what I'm going to do is I'm going to number like 1 to 29 here and put the symbol next to it and then I'm going to glue a little um, a little drill um, next to it that, that matches the color that I put in here. Oh yeah, here's the lightest gray that I interchanged with the white. Which, it, it's nothing alike obviously, but you know, that's just the way it is. I had these green ones, but they were too light, and they were like all different sizes. They were the nail art sparklers for green, so I didn't want to use that. That's why I picked these. Okay, so I'll let you know. I'll show you after I get the schematic done. Uh, I will let you know how it turns out. I'll do a sampler, and maybe I'll come back on and tape a little bit. Uh, when I've got some of it done and I'll just keep checking back in with you. I don't want it to do a, a full video at this point. So, all right. <laughs> Thanks everybody who on the um, Facebook forums let me um, 
let me vent a little <laughs> and gave me suggestions. Um, and for the one gal who said, I'm not going to go all the way in the attic uh, to try to find the one I have up there with my Christmas stuff. No, I didn't want you to go to all that trouble, of course. I'm fine with that. It, it worked out eventually anyway. So thank you, Diamond Divas, and I will see you uh, in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this project and if you want to see more, um, if you want to enter one of the contests uh, when we reach the different milestone marks uh, for subscribers. So, all right. Tell your friends. Bye.